the Philippines a century hence in Spanish Filipinas dentro de 100 años okay so this essay published in La Solidaridad starts by analyzing the various causes of the miseries suffered by the Filipino people Dr. Rizal wrote this to forecast the future of the country within a hundred years so from the title itself palang my dear students you can get an idea about this essay of Rizal when we say century it's a period of 100 years basically speaking Ano na nga ba ang kalagayan ng Philippines within or maybe after 100 years? That is the content of the Philippines a century hence. Just like the indolence of the Filipino people, this essay was also published in the newspaper La Solidaridad. So sa essay na to, nagkaroon ng prediction si Rizal. He tried to respond to the question, what would be the situation of the Philippines within 100 years? Would the Philippines remain a colony of Spain? Sakop pa rin kaya tayo? Kontrolado pa rin kaya tayo ng Spain pagkatapos ng isang daang taon? Or would it become independent? Lalaya na kaya ang Pilipinas sa pamamahala ng Spain? Or would it be a colony of another nation? Tayo ba ay pamamahalaanan ng iba pang bansa? Okay, dyan niya sasagutin sa kanyang essay na The Philippines a Century Hence. This essay starts with an analysis of the causes of the miseries of the people. One of the causes identified in this article was Spain's implementation of her military policies. So sa first part ng essay ni Rizal, it gives an overview kung ano ba yung mga dahilan ng paghihirap ng mga Filipinos. And one of the causes na kanyang na-i-mention was Spain's implementation of her military policies. Napilitan ang mga Filipinos noon, particularly yung mga kalalakihan na sumali dun sa hukbong militar or sa Spanish army. At eventually, nabawasan yung population. Okay? Of course, hindi naman maiwasan sa isang war, sa isang gera, meron talagang masasawi at merong mamamatay. Okay, so since yung mga haligi ng tahanan, yung mga kalalakihan ay nasa army na, hawak na ng Spanish army, naiwan yung kanilang pamilya at the same time, naiwan yung kanilang mga lupa na dapat sinasaka. Okay, so napabayaan nila lahat. Therefore, all phases of the life of the Filipinos were retarded, nabawasan. Okay, next, a second cause of this misery was deterioration and disappearance of Filipino indigenous culture. So, medyo masakit sa part na to na some of our culture and traditions ay naglalaho na, napapalitan na. Okay? So, dito naman, sabi ni Rizal, when we were colonized by the Spaniards, yung ways of living ng mga early Filipinos ay nagbago. Kung hindi nagbago, totally nawala. Of course, sinakop tayo ng Spain, therefore, they implemented their culture their uh, tradition, and even their ways of life in the Philippines. So, ramdam pa rin natin even up to this time yung presence at influence ng Spain. Why? For example, yung mga words na ginagamit natin just like guapo, guapa, yung mga word na yun ay hindi naman originally Filipino or hindi nang galing sa ating uh, language, okay? Galing yun sa Espanyol. Another thing, merong mga Filipinos na yung kanilang surnames or yung mga apelido nila ay tunog Espanyol. For example, Valdez, Villacruz, Pimentel, Torres, yung mga yan ay galing sa mga Espanyol. Why? Kasi noon si Governor General Narciso Claveria, nagkaroon siya ng isang policy wherein nirequire lahat ng Filipino natives na magkaroon ng surnames. Kasi noon, ang mga natives natin wala pa sila yung apelido. Okay? So, sa policy ni Narciso Claveria, nagkaroon or inadapt ng mga natives yung Spanish surnames, okay? And lastly, biggest legacy ng Spain sa country natin, of course, yung pagdadala nila ng religion na Christianity. Kasi, noong unang panahon, wala pang religion ang mga Filipinos, sa mga early Filipinos. Pagan pa sila. Kung sino-sino yung mga sinasamba nila, kung ano-ano yung mga sinasamba nila. Sinasamba nila ang mga bato, puno, lupa, hangin, ulap, lahat. Okay? Pero nung sinakop tayo ng Spain, dala na nila rito yung religion na Christianity. A third cause of this miserable condition of the people was their passivity and submissiveness to the Spanish colonizers. So, during the time of Spaniards, naging masunurin ang mga Filipinos. They submitted their fate or their uh, destiny to the Spanish friars. They were afraid to voice out their problems, their grievances. Kasi once na ginawa nila yun, gaya nung sinabi ko kanina, for sure, sasaktan sila and then ikukulong sila. Or, the worst thing, as they might be killed, pwede silang patayin. Kaya wala silang choice kundi tumahimik na lang. Okay, question. What then had made the people realize their sad situation 
under Spanish rule. So the answer here is racial discrimination. Why? You know, the Filipinos became aware that they were distinct people. Parang na-realize nila na, teka lang, but parang may iba sa amin. For the first time, they had come to realize the colonial policies and its conditions could no longer be condoned or hindi nakatanggap-tanggap. Hindi nakatanggap-tanggap yung mga policies na ipinapatupad nyo or ini-implement nyo sa amin. So parang it's a wake-up call na for them na, teka lang, may mali na eh, hindi na tama itong mga ini-implement yung policies sa amin. So anong ginawa ng mga Filipinos? They accumulated all their grievances against the Spaniards which eventually led to the rise of revolution. Yung mga oppressions, yung mga injustices na na-experience nila under Spanish administration, it became their motivation to fight the Spaniards. So, yun nga lang, we have to admit, yung mga early revolts na nangyari sa Philippines ay hindi nag-succeed. Okay? Lagi tayong natatalo. Why? Bakit kaya pumapalya tayo sa mga revolts? Kasi yung geographical location ng Philippines, tayo ay nati sa iba't ibang pulo. Magkakalayo tayo. Wala tayong unity. Instead na magsama-sama, sana lahat ng ano, mga tao, okay, against the Spaniards, Kumbaga meron tayong sari-sariling laban, okay? Eh, hindi naman ganun kadami yung bilang ng mga warriors natin na sasabak sa laban sa mga Spaniards, okay? Kaya lagi tayong natatalo. Wala tayong unity, walang coordination. One question raised by Rizal in this essay was, Could Spain prevent the progress of the Philippines? Mapipigilan kaya ng Spain yung pag-develop, yung pag-angat, yung pag-progress ng Philippines? If Spain decide to do so, what could she possibly do? Kung kaya ngang mapigilan ng Spanya ang pag-progress ng Philippines, ano kaya yung mga possible things na pwede niyang gawin para ma-prevent niya yung pag-progress ng Philippines? Number one, keep the people ignorant. Panatilihing mangmang at walang alam ang mga Filipinos. Number two, keep the people in poverty. Panatilihing mahirap ang mga Pilipino. Number three, exterminate the Filipino race. Ubusin ang Filipino race. Walang matirang Pilipino. Tanggalin sa mapa ang Pilipinas. Okay, so tingnan natin kung paano to sasagutin ni Rizal. Number one, keeping the people ignorant failed. Why? Awakening of national consciousness among the people united them. With the spread of enlightenment, the illustrado class arose. Yung number one option, hindi nag-succeed. Why? The national consciousness of the Filipino people was awakened and eventually united them. Okay? Yung nagising yung parang pagmamahal ng mga Pilipino sa sarili nilang bansa. Yung option number one nila na gawing mangmang at walang alam ang mga Filipinos ay hindi rin naging effective. Kahit na may repression on sa school, kahit na may discrimination, hindi nila napigilan yung pag-emerge o yung pag-usbong ng mga writers, ng mga artists, ng mga free thinkers na tinatawag nating ilustrado, yung mga nakapag-aral, the enlightened ones. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung number two. Yung number two, recourse to impoverishment was a failure also. Why? So, hindi sila nagsaksin na panatilihing mahirap ang Philippines. Keeping the people in poverty created in the Filipinos the desire to change things. So, since majority ng mga Filipinos noon ay naghirap dahil nga inalisan sila ng rights sa kanilang sariling mga property, yun din yung nag-trigger or nag-motivate sa kanila to change things. They started exploring adventurous ideas. Okay, so failed na naman sila sa number two. Yung number three kaya, yung extermination of the people as an alternative to hindering progress. Okay, it was a failure also. Why? The people had survived in spite of the wars they had engaged in and the epidemic So sa dinami-dami daw ng war, sa dinami-dami ng gyera at epidemia or yung mga nakakamatay na disease na na-encounter ng mga Filipinos, they still survive. In fact, yung bilang nga daw nila dumoble pa or trumiple pa. Kaya yung third option ng Spaniards na ubusin ang lying Filipino at walang matirang Filipino, that was very impossible. Moreover, sabi ni Rizal, to wipe out the Filipino race, okay, kung gusto talaga nilang ubusin ang lying Filipino, They have to sacrifice a huge number of manpowers. Another question na nilagay ni Rizal sa kanyang essay. Can the divide at impera or divide and rule policy still work to foster enmity between and among the natives? To Rizal, this would no longer be effective owing to the ills of movement in the archipelago brought about by improved means of transportation. So, divide at impera or divide and rule from the word itself. Sasakop sila ng isang country, hahatiin nila yun. Okay, kumbaga, uh, imiminimize nila yung power ng isang country sa pamamagitan ng pagdi-divide. Hahati-hatiin nila yun sa kanila 
uh, pamamahalaanan. Okay? Para less yung power ng bansang sinakop nila. Okay? So, according to Rizal, uh, this would no longer be effective. Okay? Hindi na siya effective kasi madali at mabilis na lang din noon yung lumipat ng mga lugar. Kahit sa ang country mo gusto pumunta, hindi na ganun kahirap. Due to improvements of transportation and the exchange of ideas are possible. Kasi, for example, merong isang nakapag-aral, isang ilustrado na pumunta sa lugar na to, then pumunta pa siya sa iba't ibang lugar. Kumbaga, nai-spread niya yung kanyang liberal ideas, yung kanyang mga alam. Okay, kaya posible daw yung exchange of ideas and it can be enhanced since they have means of communication. Tama naman na since okay na yung means of transportation, then pwede nang uh, lumipat-lipat ang mga tao. Okay, kaya yung divide at impera or divide and rule ay hindi na rin siya effective para ma-prevent yung progress na ng Philippines. Okay? So, ang sabi ni Rizal, Spain has no way of blocking reforms and progress of the Philippines. What does this imply then? There is a need for Spain to change her colonial policy in the Philippines. So, Spain ang mag adjust hindi ang Philippines. Kailangan baguhin ni Spain yung pamamalakad niya sa Philippines kung paano niya minamanage yung kanyang colony. Yun ang sabi ni Rizal. And another thing, the policies should be compatible with the needs of the people. Of course, kung ano ba yung mga kailangan ng Filipinos dapat ina-align din ng Spain. Hindi pwede yung mga policies na pinapatupad nila ay para lang sa mga Espanyol. Okay? And question pa ni Rizal, what if Spain would not change her colonial policy? What if hindi baguhin ni Spain yung mga ipinatupad niyang policy or mga in-implement niya? What if hindi mag-adjust si Spain? Of course, mag-aalsa ang mga Pilipino and would definitely ask for reform. So, hihingi sila ng mga pagbabago. At kung hindi yun binigay, ang last option ay maglunsan ng revolution or ng isang bloody war. Results essay centered on the reforms and political changes and needed for the Philippines to remain under Spanish rule. Nevertheless, he stressed that reforms have to be initiated by the government for them to be peaceful and effective. So, yung essay na The Philippines a Century Hands ay nakafocus siya sa mga reforma, okay? reforms and political changes. Unlike nung The Indolence of the Filipino People, yun naman ay mga arguments ni Rizal to defend the Filipinos from the allegations of the Spaniards na tamad daw ang mga Filipinos. So, dito sa The Philippines a Century Hands, more on reform siya. Okay? So, ito yung mga reforms na nabanggit ni Rizal sa essay na dapat in-implement ng Spain noon. First, freedom of the press. So, dapat may laya ang mga Pilipino to express their problems, to voice out their grievances. May laya silang magsalita sa gobyerno na hindi sila natatakot, na hindi sila sasaktan. Pangalawa, representation of the Filipinos in the Spanish Cortes or Spanish Court. So, dati naman, meron talaga tayong representative sa Spanish Court. Yun nga lang, inabolish din ng Spain government. So, ito yung gustong mangyari ni Rizal na dapat meron tayong representative sa Spanish court. So, imagine sa loob ng Spanish court, paano kung walang Filipinos, dun at lahat sila mga Espanyol. So, sino naman yung magsasabi or yung parang magre-relay ng mga problema natin sa Philippines, di ba? Wala tayong representative, walang mag-voice out ng mga problems natin. Number three, granting of Spanish citizenship. So, wow! So, yung mga Filipinos pala na gusto or mag-adapt yung uh, Spanish citizenship, pwede lang pala, Okay? pwedeng bigyan ang mga Filipinos ng rights na magkaroon ng Spanish citizenship. The next feeling of government positions, but kailangan merong examination. Masala yung mga deserving dun sa position. Kasi ito yung masakit na part sa time natin today. Okay? Nag-exist pa rin yung backup system. Kahit pa overqualified ka sa work or magaling ka, napasa mo yung interview, napasa mo yung exam, kung yung kasama mong applicant ay kamag-anak, pamangkin, or pinsan, sige, or sabihin na natin relative nung director or nung head nung isang uh, institution or nung isang uh, government uh, agency, hindi ikaw yung kukunin kahit na ikaw yung deserving sa position. Okay? Itong backup system ay nangyari na rin pala noon. So, dapat daw masala kung sino yung dapat kunin sa position, government positions. Next, in reforms in commerce, agriculture, and education. And last but not the least, kailangan yung kinoconsider pa rin yung kaligtasan ng mga Filipinos, okay? Greater security for the individual. Okay, so the question of Rizal, which colonizing power will replace Spain? Will it be a European power or an Asian power? Since hindi pa ready ang Philippines for a self-government, hindi pa natin kaya noon i-manage yung sarili nating country, tayo ay 
ipinasa, okay, binenta tayo ng Spain sa isang country. So, so according to Rizal, if Spain will not be replaced either by a European or an Asian power, which country then will be interested in what Spain has to give up? So, according sa pagkaka-analyze ni Rizal, yung mga countries sa Europe hindi na interesado sa Philippines kasi busy na rin sila sa mga colony nila or dun sa mga nasakop nilang bansa. At the same time, ganun din sa Asian continent. Yung mga countries sa Asia, hindi na rin interesado sa Philippines para sa kopin. So, to Rizal, this country is none other than the United States of America. What Rizal envisioned in this essay came true. So, nagkatotoo yung prediction ni Rizal na tayo rin ay sinakop ng mga Amerikano, okay? Binenta tayo ng Spain sa Amerika. Okay? So, dyan nagtatapos yung content, okay? Nang the Philippines a century hence. Music